Ooh, buddy. So I got some news for you guys today. Today, or not today, but right now and today, your boy got scammed. Okay, here's how it happened. I am currently at work. At the end of my route, because I'm a trucker, I'm filling my gas up, right? Normal day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm about to go in inside the building, use the bathroom, get something to eat, get something to drink all night because I've been in this damn box, right? I'm filling my gas up. All of a sudden, some fucking white SUV, I want to say Middle Eastern family, like, bro had like five or six kids in the back with his wife in the passenger seat. I'm like, all right, man's begging me. It's like, oh, man, I need some gas or whatever the fuck. I barely fucking heard him. But you know what I'm saying? I just went. I think he needed gas. He was like, man, I just need, you know what I'm saying, a couple hundred dollars to get, I am saying, to Florida or some shit. And I'm saying, I don't know. It looks like an expensive car and it don't look like it's good on gas mileage. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my molecules are fucking. He proceeds to get closer, drive next to my park. And he's begging me, throwing fucking gold chains, fucking AirPods. You know what I'm saying? At me like, me, take this, take this, take that. You know what I'm saying? Just give me, give me cash. I need gas. I'm like, I'm like, bro, I ain't got shit. What do you think I'm working for? I ain't got nothing. I'm broke, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This mic that I'm talking to is six hundred fucking dollars. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? And he keeps fucking begging me, but the nice guy in me, like, bro, being being a nice guy, bro. Like I'm 21 now. On the, of the 21 years I've been on this earth, the one thing I can confidently say that I hate about myself, I could be a thousand fucking pounds. Cause you guys know I'm on that weight loss journey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Almost 40 pounds. I'm struggling to get past 40. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I I could give like compared to me the, a year ago, me being like super obese. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't give a fuck. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? I still want to eat like that, but I can't. I was. I I can confidently tell you that being a nice guy through all those years of growing up has done me way more dirtier than being fat. Possibly, you know what I'm saying? Being young and dumb, you know I'm saying? Like all this shit, you know what I'm saying? That all the things I've done in the past, being nice has hurt me the most. The most, bro. When they say nice guys finish last, they're not fucking joking. Not bro. I'd be thankful to finish last. Cause therefore, nigga, I'd have finished. The fuck? I didn't finish at all, nigga. Like I'm still in the fucking race. It's some bullshit. Seriously, man. Like, not even throw a race card out there because anybody could do this. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of fucking scammers out there. Black, white, Middle Eastern, Asian, Indian. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just one group is just more known for doing that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and he convinces me to go out and take 400 fucking dollars of my hard money. Thinking like, oh, this gold and AirPods is like, oh, I can get money for this. No, the nigga th gave me fake gold. I went to multiple places. Like, oh, this is fake. I'm... You should have seen my fucking face. My face. You know what I'm saying? But weirdly enough, even though I got scammed for that crazy amount of crazy, I want to say it's not a crazy amount of money. You know what I'm saying? But four hundred dollars is just like just just to be taken away from me like that, bro. It's it's not fun. But weirdly enough, through that whole thing, I wasn't mad. Well, a little bit, but I wasn't visually mad. If you get what I'm saying, like I was I was pissed off. I was more pissed. I wasn't. I wasn't mad at him per se for scamming me. You know what I'm saying? Even though, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, fuck you. I wasn't mad at him per se. I was more mad at myself for falling for that shit for the second time because this is the second time I fall for that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and you, you're probably laughing like a motherfucker right now. Uh, let's just laugh at him now. <laughs> I'm not even go. You probably fucking shitting your pants, laughing because you can't like because you're. I am a dumbass. I'm I'm an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm not trying to <laughs> defend myself from that at all. I am retarded. You know what I'm saying? I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I I'll take that. Yeah, I should. I'll show you the fucking gold. This shit right here, man, had me so fucking bleak. Like, cause honestly, bro, I don't know shit about gold. Honestly, but basically, this shit right here. I don't even get fucking. This shit right here ha has the 18 karat in, in, you know what I'm saying? Shit on it. I'm like, man, 
He was like, oh, my dumb ass, oh, you gotta be right. That's the 18K fucking stamp. No. Yeah, you know I'm saying that's not how they do go. I did some research after doing that whole fucking expedition. That's not how they do. That's not how they test. If gold is real or not, I went inside that. I went inside a pawn shop and I went inside a jeweler. First thing these niggas did was they didn't even do anything yet. They I pulled it out my fucking pocket. I'm like, yeah, that's fake. I'm like, damn, that niggas is cold. What they like? You know what I'm saying? But just for my visual, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Preservation that. What they just said was real. These motherfuckers take out a goddamn stick, touch it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's fake. Here you go. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, man? So I leave, right? Get home. I go to sleep. I gotta go to the gym after this, cause I I couldn't, bro. Like I, like, getting done like that, bro. Like and seeing the motherfucker the first time, I didn't, I didn't know, I knew a nigga could have been in India or something. You know what I'm saying? But this time I seen the nigga. I seen him, his wife. And all six of that niggas, ugly ass kids. I seen all them motherfuckers, man. Oh, it was a nice kid. Nigga was showing me pictures like, oh, I got money. I'll pay you back for like two grand if you give me this right now. And that's how I get back home. I'm like, bro, like, he's spitting so much good shit. Like, all the all the warnings just just like in my head were like, nah, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? We have to help him. Like, now that I'm. It, this is it's like a version of post nut clarity now that I'm not fucking influenced by that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck I gotta pay for your gas, nigga? If you had that much money, motherfucker, why did you not bring enough to get your ass back home? I'm not your mama or your dad, motherfucker. Like if you stuck in the middle, ain't nigga you got gold change and shit? Go sell the motherfuckers for money. Why are you asking for cash for me? Cause they, cause if that was real gold, nigga, I'd have more than a four hundred fucking dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's about 150 grams. You know what I'm saying? If, if it was real gold, 18 grams, I'd have had bread. I'd have bought another PC. Nigga probably got a car. Something, you know what I'm saying? Some stupid shit. All those warnings that were supposed to go on your head, bro, like, flew over my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's nobody's fault but mine. I'm the retard in this whole fucking whole situation, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and, but at the end of the day, Watch out for scammers, man. Like, if, if like, uh, not, like it's hard because there's people out here who need help, and there's people out here who take advantage of people who are nice enough to help those people who need help. Really, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, at this point, if somebody needs help, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck them. Like, cause the next homeless person that walks up to me, asking for a penny, asking for any type of fucking handout, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, I'll be I'll be tempted to up something on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave me the fuck alone, bro. Leave me alone. There's so many jobs out here people could get. You know what I'm saying? You could be a murderer, a rape. You know what I'm saying? You, there's bread out here. Go get it. Ask for, like, it's, it's so bad. Especially, I live in Ohio. It's so, niggas is not even asking for money no more. You know what I'm saying? I'll say probably a couple months ago, I'm sitting here at the gas station. And I don't know why it's all at the fucking gas station. I'm sitting at the gas station. I'm pumping my gas. Nigga, I was like, "Hey, man, you got some? You got? Uh, what did he say? He said like it's, it's it's a new fucking slang for crack. But you know what I'm saying, uh, you got? Oh, I remember. He said, "Hey, man, you got some hard on you? I'm like, hard. The fuck is hard? You know what I'm saying, what are you talking about, man? And he's like, he was like some, some, some crack, nigga. I'm like, what crack? Like, nigga. I mean, I do look like a drug dealer. People have told me that before, but damn, nigga, like this old for real? Like, no warm up? Like, you know what I'm saying? You go, he, no, he don't give a fuck about the one. He wants crack. I ain't even want to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? he He's entry level crackhead. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not even he not even to a phase where he's trying to get his life together and, and ask for bread because he's hungry. You know what I'm saying? The nigga, nigga wasn't that skinny either, so he must have just started. You know what I'm saying? His life is just going down the drain. But back to what I said. You gotta be careful out here, man. Don't end up like me. I'm this. I'm just gonna be the 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 for you. I'm gonna not the for you, but uh, what do I use a, as a thumbnail? Cause I feel stupid, and I really have to rub this in myself. And see, I'm really just taking it as a life lesson, cause it's four hundred dollars, but it's like I could make. I'm I'm gonna be alive for a long ass time, so I'm not tripping about four hundred dollars, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But. At the same time, I was like, oh, I could have bought a part. Oh, I could have bought a fucking new gun. Something. I could have bought something. You know what I'm saying? 
whether it be useful for me or not, I could have bought something and it could have been mine. You know what I'm saying? But there were multiple instances where, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm kind of, what's, what's, what's the word? What's the word? I can't find the word because I'm ADHD as fuck. But basically I'm say like I'm on a platform, right? I'm standing on that platform, but that motherfucking platform is like on like something like, like on a standing on a pin. So I'm balancing that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the platform and shit. I'm like on the edge of that motherfucker. I'm, 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 I'm like a couple, one more really fucked up situation from just snapping. You know what I'm saying? Thank God I have such, such a, a, a strong mentality. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So strong spiritually that I can, I can look at these situations like this and flip them to a more positive situation and turn them into learning lessons for the future. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have a mindset like that. Cause you know what I'm saying? What I want for my life for this shit, you know what I'm saying? To somehow probably make it. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna work my fucking ass off. Thankful I got a mindset like that to not make me crash out immediately on the, on the first fucking insignificant thing and fucked up thing that happens in my life. Cause you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna hold you. This is real fucked up, but it's like, there, there isn't a lot of days where I don't feel like putting a bullet in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, at the same time, I don't have the nuts to do that. So it's like, I don't really have a choice, but to flip that shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? Look at it as positive way so I can keep pushing forward. Cause I'm not gonna hold you the day where I just say fuck it, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm in such high adrenaline that I don't care. Probably won't be seeing any more YouTube videos out of any boy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But <laughs> or you see a nigga on Fox News, you know what I'm saying? ABC News, here it is. Man shot up of you know, something. You know what I'm saying? It, it it might just be, I don't know. I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I'm saying? But that's just how I feel right now because I'm 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 kinda pissed still pissed off i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna fucking pump some iron you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna continue with my goals you know what i'm saying because i still want to lose weight i still want to grow this channel i still want to you know what i'm saying chase my dreams so it's like i really don't have a choice but to continue to have a a strong strong will about this and just you know what i'm saying bob and weave you know what i'm saying Tired, tired, you know what I'm saying? Because life is a bitch, but I'm gonna tire that motherfucker out in the corner. You know what I'm saying? I'm blocking the punches and shit. I'm locked in. Can't hit me. This is called a, you know what I'm saying? Was it the Philly shell or some shit? I don't know. And ju it just take take it like man, honestly. Again, if somebody asks for help. Well, I wouldn't say this. If somebody asks for help and it's not think, you know what I'm saying? Just slow down, examine the whole situation properly. You know what I'm saying? And only if, if you have the leans or you got bread like that and you can help somebody and not give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Cause I also looked at it as a, as another point in my life that, you know what I'm saying? Gain some more karma. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm doing something so good right here. The good will come back. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing that for so fucking long. Just giving people stuff, 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 giving people stuff. Give me I'm out of breath. You know what I'm saying? I've I've been doing so much fucking giving. You know what I'm saying? The the second I go to say, hey, let me let me let me let me let me let me go ahead and just one grant. Let me go ahead a little bit. Little, let me get a little take. You know what I'm saying? It's a fucking problem, bro. It is a problem. You know what I'm saying? People out here taking my entire fucking livelihood, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, what situation I'm in. You know what I'm saying? At the moment, I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not even asking for all of it, but a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's a problem. I'm the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be family, friends, random motherfuckers, like in this, it's like, it's a problem. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. But there's a few points in the, you know what I'm saying? And because I'm gonna end it and go to the gym. There's a few points in this I just wanna say, you know what I'm saying? That highlight this whole video. One, like I said, I said, I said at the beginning, nice guys will always fucking finish last. Two, don't help nobody, especially if it's gonna hurt you. Don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who it is. 
and I would say three. If you do end up getting fucked over, you know what I'm saying? Don't crash out. <laughs> Just don't crash out. You know what I'm saying? Lock in. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got, we got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? We got stuff we got to do in the future. Just lock in. Stuff like this happens. From, from the other video where, you know what I'm saying? Almost got shot as a security guard to now being scammed out of $400. You know what I'm saying? Like, And there's a ball and, and, and the countless amount of small shit that happens. Cause you know what I'm saying like all this bad karma, like it, 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 it stacks, bro. Like that shit don't go away. You know what I'm saying? Like good and bad, like it stacks. It stays with you forever. You will never forget a good, you will never forget a good moment of either good or bad karma. You'll never forget that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's like, it's like trauma. You're not forgetting that. You know what I'm saying? You could cover it up with your fucking, uh, what? therapy there we go you know what i'm saying i just had to remember that shit it took me like five minutes you can cover it up with therapy but it's still there it's still there but we all have our own consequences you know what i'm saying as much as i you know what i'm saying because I, I believed in good karma from a young age and bad luck good luck bad I, I believed in all that i don't know what i did as a child i didn't think i was that bad honestly you know what i'm saying other than my grades and shit i thought i was a well-behaved kid honestly but I don't know what I did as a, as, as a young kid that I would say I, I've, cause I think I've stacked up so much bad karma somehow. I don't even know how, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I thought I've, I, I would have stacked up a lot of good with, especially with the amount of giving that I was doing, you know what I'm saying? And uh, was with, with a lot of unfortunate and, and shitty, you know what I'm saying, situations I found myself in, I'd had, you know, I'd had something in the savings, you know what I'm saying, to save me. And God bless. I guess I used what little I had, fucking dodging that bullet in that goddamn Amazon. But you know what I'm saying, not to be greedy, but damn, you know what I'm saying, I just, fucked up shit keep happening. So it's like. Did I use somebody else's luck? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, man. This is so fucked up. Like, oh my God. Like, I, I, like, there's not just one emotion that I feel right now because I'm pissed off. I'm sad, a little depressed. I want revenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to find this nigga, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, and all like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <sighs> bro. I like how every time I try to end the video, another topic comes up in my head. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's such a fucked up situation. You gotta understand. A lot of your motherfuckers probably still laughing at me. I'd be laughing at me too. Fuck. Uh, but I do have to end this video, so. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. It is greatly appreciated, especially in these times right now. I need it. Hit the fucking like button. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, subscribe, and I'll be see you guys later. Yeah.